All right, so I know I haven't been around like for the past week and that's because I was like super duper sick and I'm only just starting to feel like semi-normal. But I am back today and ready to open this up. So I am very excited to show you what's in here, which you already know because of the title of the video. It's my Samsung Galaxy S8. I am so excited. So here's like a guy who's never done tech reviews or an unboxing video ever doing an unboxing video. Here we go. All right, so I pre-ordered directly through Samsung, and I got the S8, and when I ordered, I also got the choice of the Gear VR with controller or the extra $100 bonus package, which was the 256 megabyte SD card and the enhanced Bluetooth uh, headphones, but I opted just to go with the standard free Gear VR with controller. So. Without further ado, here is the unboxing of my Galaxy S8. I did go with the orchid gray color. Up here, like this. Oh, yeah. There it is. I had a really hard time passing up the all black version, the black glass, black metal, black bezels, black screen, everything black. Uh, but I think that you need a flashy phone and I think that this color definitely hits the mark whenever it comes to standing out in a field of ever increasingly similar phones. So. Power brick adapter. I was curious if this was going to come in the box, um, but it is a micro USB to USB C connector, um, which will help chargers adapt to this phone. Power cord and the headphones. This is something else that I was really excited about, uh, the new AKG earbuds that come with this. So I'm gonna take these right out of the package and open them up. A couple extra pillows there. These just look really great. All right, I'm gonna get this set up, use it for a little bit, and then let you guys know exactly what I think here during my first usage. All right, 
So the initial impressions of this is that it is awesome. Uh, the edges feel great in your hand when you're holding it. It doesn't dig into your hand at all. I have the S6 edge right now. A lot of people complained about the edges on that and also the S7 edge. And now I understand what they're talking about. At first, I didn't think anything of it. I thought, it's no big deal. It doesn't dig into my hand. I think it feels really nice. But after holding this and using this, it feels amazing. Um, secondly, the screen is just gigantic. Um, it's top to bottom. There's very little bezel there at all. The entire thing is screen. Um, I went outside, it's bright and sunny out. I had no problems with the screen brightness on here, even with it at the default levels. Um, I know that there is a mode where you can bump it up to increase the brightness to its full capacity, but they say that it will cut down on the battery life. But even without that, it looks great. Um, overall, I'm really, really liking this so far. It performs amazing. Everything is really quick and snappy. It feels amazing in my hand. It looks awesome. Um, I haven't set up the fingerprint sensor yet, so I haven't tested that out. Um, but initial impressions here over the past like half hour, hour is that this thing's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna use it a little more and then we'll come back. All right, so after getting to use this the rest of the night, I am very impressed. I just love the way it feels in my hand. It's really snappy. I love that how tall it is. So um, after getting to use it for a night, I'm just beginning to discover some of the things that this can do and just getting used to it. I didn't find that using the fingerprint sensor was a huge deal. Um, I know a lot of people talked about how you could end up covering the camera. I don't know, maybe it's just the way I hold the phone, but didn't really seem to have an issue with that. The face unlock works really well. I did set up my irises for iris scanning, but I really couldn't get that to work too well, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, everything else has been working really well, and I love this phone. Definitely recommend it. That's all I got for this video, so catch you guys later.